Have you ever wanted to customize your Elster, but lacked the coding knowledge to make such a mod to do exactly that? Well, luckily for you, I have a solution. Today, I present SIRS, or the Signalis Universal Reskin Mod. This is a mod I've been working on for some time, and will allow players to customize the colorization of Elster's various outfits by simply editing the texture file. No code, no modding, nothing. Just editing a file. So with no more delay, let's just get into explaining how this works. First up, you're going to need to do the standard setup required to install Signalis mods. This means installing and setting up Melon Loader. If you haven't already done it and you're new to the Signalis mod scene, you can find a tutorial on how to do so in my Camera Perspective mod video where I explain the whole setup process. After installing and setting up Melon Loader, we can now set up SIRS. First up, go to SIRS Nexus page, which I have linked below, and install both the SIRS mod files and the SIRS library. You're going to need both for this mod to work, not just one or the other. Within the SIRS mod files is the code that sets up SIRS, this is called SIRS, as well as the VSL method collection, which is called the VSL Signalis method or something along those lines. You're going to need both of those files within your Melon Loader mod folder, as SIRS requires the VSL methods to work. Then install the SIRS library, and also drag the folder into your Melon Loader mod folder. When you're done, it should look something like this. So you're going to drag the entire SIRS library folder, not just what's in it. Then load into the game. When you've loaded into a point where you can control Elster, you're going to want to hit R and S at the same time. And you should immediately see your modified texture be activated. Anytime you learn load in a new scene, you're going to need to hit R and S again. So just be aware of that. From here, SIRS is all set up. So now you can download custom SIRS packs or make your own. To download a custom SIRS pack, you can download the files from either the Nexus, if the author has uploaded them there as I have, or can download the files through any method that the author sends them through. Then put the newly installed files into your SIRS library and replace the existing files with the new ones that you're putting in. As in when the pop-up appears saying this file already exists in this folder, just hit replace. Now, how to make your own SIRS pack. This is simple, and the whole point of SIRS is to be simple. Just download the SIRS library files, you can find them on the Nexus, or you can find them within VSL's SIRS library chat, and edit them using whatever image editing software you wish. You can edit it however you want. However, keep in mind the general shape of the texture isn't going to be changing, as the mesh of the character is not what we're actually editing, we're just changing the colorization of the texture. Using the new file you created is the same as using your pack you downloaded. Simply drag it into the SIRS library folder. But be sure that when you do so, you do not rename any of the SIRS files from their original name as doing so will make SIRS fail to work, as the way SIRS works is by loading in those file names in order to slot it into the game. Finally, let's say you want, to, you want to share your SIRS pack with other people. There are multiple ways this can be done. One way is just sending your friends or others the PNG texture that you produced, as having them download the file and import it into their files will work immediately. Another way is using VSL SIRS threads and posting the pack there for others to use. And a final way is to bundle them into a .zip file and upload it onto the Nexus. For the sake of this video, I will explain how to upload Nexus mods just in case you haven't done it before. Step 1. Make a Nexus account. This is a rather simple process and can be done easily. Doing so will also let you install other Nexus mods and comment and drop endorsements and all sorts of stuff on Nexus, which is where the Signalis community mostly hosts its mods. Step 2. Navigate to the games page. In our case, you're going to look up Signalis. Step 3, click Upload, then Upload Mod. You're going to then fill out the details. You are uploading a mod and its category is Reskin. Rename your mod whatever you want. Place a version title, put your username or the name of the author team that made your mod if you're working with other people, and then put a brief description or a longer description describing your Reskin. Step 5, you're going to make sure that you take at least one screenshot of your Reskin and upload it in this media section. You can upload your texture files, but this is not where people are going to be downloading them from, so I honestly wouldn't advise it. 
I just advise also adding a header image as it seems to make people more likely to install your mod. So just some screenshots of what your recent looks like should be enough. Step six, you're gonna set your required files to SIRS. You can do this by clicking on the search in the Nexus and typing Signalis Universal Reskin Mod. You're gonna to wanna to do this so that way the people installing your mod who aren't aware of what SIRS is, know they're gonna need it in order to install your mod. Step seven, upload your mod. Do this by compressing your SIRS library into a .zip file and then dragging and dropping it into the upload. Give your mod file some details and then you're done. So now it is possible for anyone to reskin the game however they want, or at least reskin Elster. I intend in the future to expand what servers can reskin to things like guns, enemies, and as much as I can get. But for the moment, we just have Elster. If you think this is something that interests you, and uh, I hope it's something that interests you, I feel like this is a project that I am rather happy with the final results in. I will be sharing whatever creations you all make using SIRS on my channel in the future, so be sure to share them with me in the Discord linked in my description, VSL. VSL is also where I'll post updates regarding SIRS, and it's also really just where I hang out these days. So I'd love if some of y'all could come over and hang out. But that's all I got for ya. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see y'all next time.